Hi, I'm Alex, and welcome to Behind the Technical. Right off the bat, let me answer your first question. Do moving blankets work as a vocal booth? Sort of. <laughs> moving blankets do kind of work as a vocal booth. This is my vocal booth. It's made up of moving blankets, three of the big ones and then one small one for the roof. It's all suspended off a cheap PVC frame that I built from parts uh, that I got at like Lowe's or whatever. And it's suspended in the air with two light stands that I have. And in total, like 60 bucks, not super expensive. The thing is, it really depends, you know, on what you're trying to do and what you need to accomplish. If you have a room that's relatively quiet and that you don't want to necessarily put a bunch of stuff up on the floors, walls, and uh, ceiling, but you still want to record audio, this is a good alternative. You know, instead of treating a whole room, you can just basically create a new room inside of the bigger room to record in. So I have all my moving blanket set up, and on the floor, there's a nice, uh, soft shaggy carpet and this is a pretty good environment for recording audio in this room has a window and there's a major road right behind the camera and microphone so every time a big fat car passes by or a truck or backs up or whatever you can hear it in the booth this is not a soundproof booth this is a vocal booth or a sound treated booth the difference is pretty obvious soundproof booths don't let sound in or out. They do this by being the room within a room within a room kind of thing. So they have an inner box and a box that goes around that box and there's an air gap in between them and they're made up of really thick, dense stuff like MDF and lots of foam and carpeting and all kinds of materials that are really good at preventing sound from getting through them. What's the difference between moving blankets and foam? because that's what you're gonna see a lot if you look up DIY vocal booth or cheap sound treatment stuff. So the key differences between moving blankets and acoustic foam or sound panels is that while there are similar materials and they do similar things, they achieve those things in very different ways. With foam, because they have all those weird geometric patterns cut into the faces of them, they break up the sound waves really well, and they make the sound waves that bounce off of them much smaller, and they have a lot less energy than if they were to, say, bounce off something like a moving blanket, which is just, generally speaking, you'll hang it up in a flat way, you know, it's a flat surface. So right off the bat, acoustic foam will make those reflections a lot quieter than a flat surface like a moving blanket. So while moving blankets are inferior to acoustic foam in a lot of ways, they're still relatively good at their job. You know, when I speak, you don't hear a bunch of weird echo or reverb in here. If I had acoustic foam set up or sound panels in here, it would definitely sound a little bit more dead, like there wouldn't be as much room tone, so to speak. But by and large, this is perfectly acceptable for YouTube content. You know, I'm not recording audio books in here. The other thing about vocal booths is that they're soundproof. You know, they, they have a lot of hard materials and soft materials and air gaps that make sound getting in or out impossible or close to it. Moving blankets don't keep sound from getting through them. You know, you can hear there is a reduction in the tonal quality in my voice and the volume of my voice with the moving blanket in front of the microphone, but you can still hear my voice. They're not gonna block out 100% of the sound, uh, either coming in or going out. That's just not what they're intended for, obviously, but that's not what they're capable of. Moving blankets are really good at knocking down reflections. They're a soft material that has a lot of internal padding that's made out of materials which are soft and good for absorbing sound. So when a sound hits them, the reflection coming off them is pretty weak. You know, it's much weaker than a hard wall like drywall or concrete or wood, but it's not as good as foam. So while in theory you could make a soundproof booth using a combination of foam, proper hard materials like MDF, and moving blankets, the bottom line is that just moving blankets on their own are good enough for most people. You know, if you have a quiet room that you can go and record in with like a mobile setup, which is what I have, I have the Audio Technica AT2035 large diaphragm condenser microphone running into the Tascam DR40 XLR handheld interface. You know, I can be kind of anywhere with this setup. I have all of the stands and clamps and arms I need to be mobile and set up and tear down stuff really quickly. And that's kind of the purpose of this booth. I needed something, I couldn't treat a whole room in my apartment, 
so I needed something that I could build and break down with relative ease. So it had to be portable. And that's what this is. You know, this is as close to ideal as I can get in my situation. And it's good enough for the kind of content I want to produce. Now, the bottom line is this works for me. You know, this is perfectly acceptable for my needs. I have a decent room to record in and the moving blankets do a perfectly acceptable job of making my audio clean enough for voiceovers on YouTube. But if you need something more than this, there's a great channel I can recommend. It's called Booth Junkie. It's run by this guy, Mike Delgadio, and he makes fantastic content about home recording for voiceover. I highly recommend you check out his videos. I'll link some relevant ones in the description, but he's got content about uh, turning a closet into a vocal booth, uh, set up advice for vocal booths or home recording, and tons of gear recommendations and audio samples of that gear. He'll help you out if you have more questions than I've answered today. Anyway, that's been my time. I'm Alex. This is Behind the Technical. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Waiting for the popo to do their thing.